क्वेश्चन इज एज फॉलोज एट फ्रेंड्स ए बी सी डी ई एफ जी एंड एच आर सिटिंग इन अ रो फ्रॉम ईस्ट टू वेस्ट नॉट नेसेसरीली इन द सेम ऑर्डर सम ऑफ देम आर फेसिंग नॉर्थ डायरेक्शन वाइल अदर्स आर फेसिंग साउथ डायरेक्शन फर्दर इट इज नोन दैट फर्स्टली नो टू फ्रेंड्स सिटिंग एडजेसेंटली फेस द सेम डायरेक्शन सेकेंड बोथ एच एंड बी ऑक्यूपाई एक्सट्रीम सीट्स एच इज फेसिंग इन द साउथ डायरेक्शन थर्ड जी सिट्स थर्ड टू द राइट ऑफ बी फोर्थ एफ इज अ नेबर ऑफ बोथ एफ एंड ए एग्जैक्टली फोर फ्रेंड्स सिट बिटवीन ई एंड ए ओके लेट्स ट्राई टू फर्स्ट ड्रॉ वॉट वी हैव रेड सो लेट्स सो वी हैव बीन गिवन दैट देर आर एट फ्रेंड्स सो लेट्स फर्स्ट स्टार्ट बाई ड्रॉइंग एट स्पेस इज लाइक दिस वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट विल नंबर नेम वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट Now we have been told the first clue is that no two friends are sitting uh, who sit adjacent to each other face the same direction. Now since there are eight people, ah, uh, the this essentially means that people alternatively seated are facing north or south direction. That is, ah, uh, it's like north south north south north south or south north south north south north. So there are two basic ah uh, configurations possible. That is like I'll write them down. N S N S N S N S This is first configuration, and the second configuration is south north south north south north south north. Now, what else is given? We have been given that uh, H and B occupy extreme seats. H is facing the south direction. If H is facing the south direction, uh, if you see the these two configuration, you see that the extremes are facing opposite direction. So, if H is say uh, facing south direction, that means B on the other end should be facing north. so b must face north now we have two options firstly b is facing north over here or b is facing north over here but if b is facing north at position 8 then g cannot be three positions to the right of b so essentially this configuration is impossible therefore the first configuration is right so we have the uh, configuration as north south north south north south north south we have b over here we have h over here and g sits third to the right of b therefore g will sit 1 2 3 so g will sit over here so this is the first uh, configuration that we have gotten using the first three rules now the fourth rule says that f is a neighbor of both d and a therefore f should be uh, between d and a so the possible configurations are d f a or a f d so all three of these should be together because a uh, neighbor essentially means that both all three of them are seated together so all three of them be can be together only if they take spaces 5 6 or 7 so the spaces that are possible are so it, this can be d or uh d or a this is f for sure and alternatively this can be a or d see how i write it slightly above so that i leave some space for the certain uh, uh, when you know for certain which one it will be i leave a space for that so that i can scratch these two uh, uh, trial ones and then put the actual answer whenever i get to it uh, this way you can like uh, save time when it comes to multiple configurations as such so now that you have uh, used the first part of uh, clue 4 let's see what the second part uh, says The second part says that exactly four friends sit between E and A. Now, uh, four friends between E and A can be only possible if E sits at two. So then four friends would be one, two, three, four, and A sits over here. If A sits over here, then uh, four friends between E and A is impossible. So A has to sit over here. D has to sit over here. and uh, e has to sit over here therefore we have a b c d e f g h so we have placed all uh, eight of the friends and this is our final configuration now that we have all of the information uh, required we can go on to answer the questions that are given with this so the questions given with this are as follows so we have been asked how many friends are seated between h and e so we can see that there are 
uh, five people seated between H and E. There is one C, G, D, E, A. Uh, C, G, D, F, A are seated between H and E. So there are five people seated between H and E. Uh, the second question that is asked is what is F's position with respect to E? Now the crucial thing to remember over here is that E is facing south. So you, uh, imagine you are facing south and uh, looking in the direction of E. If you are facing south then F is to the left of E. If you see the diagram you will feel that you know what F is to the right of E. But you have to face the direction E is facing. So if you face the direction E is facing F is to the left of E and F is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 to the left of E. Therefore the answer is option C. So F is seated fourth to the left. So this is the second question. Let's move on to see what other questions are there in this LR set. So who is sitting equidistant from both H and G? So we can see that H is here and G is here and F is in the middle. So F is seated equidistant from H and G. So the right answer is option B. Now the fourth question is if H and G interchange seats with each other then find out the number of friends who are seated to the right of H. This essentially boils down to asking how many friends are seated to the right of uh, G. Now uh, if you see G is facing uh, uh, south. So if you imagine you are seated facing south. If you are seated facing south, B, E and C are to the right of you. Therefore, there are three people to the right of you. It's very easy to make a mistake and count four because you are like facing uh, north and you are, uh, uh, if you are facing up and you are seeing this diagram, you will count uh, the number of people as four. But you have to always assume that you are facing in the same direction as the person mentioned. Therefore, the number of people who are seated to the right of G is three.